I'm Captain Chuck with Dev Garage Charge. I'm here with Captain Richie. He is the uh, extreme supreme master baiter. That means he can uh, throw a bait net like a champ and fish for air. Today he's going to show us how to knock out a red snapper. What uh, implement would you like, Richie? Anything. Anything? All right, we'll give you the. We'll start with this one. I like this one the best. It's nice, it's flexible, and it moves fast. Nice, flexible, moves fast. All right, he's going to show us how to do it. See if I learned something. Cut across the backside. Get out of the way of the blade. He just arcs it around. Runs down the spine. Stabs it in the face. One fillet. Put a little saw. Turns it back. Anticlimactic. And that's how you put together a dang red snapper, son. Done. Done. D U N done. No bolts. Damn the rocks. Welcome back to Damn the Rocks Charters, and uh, we're going to see if I learned anything from Captain Richie over here on how to fillet a red snapper. Basically, it's the same as laying pretty much any other fish in here, but. Uh, this is a pretty damn fish. So we're going to show you how it is without too many F-bombs drop. I always like to find that nice diagonal cut right down here to the anal fin. Anal fin. <laughs> Had to say that, right? Yeah. So we get a good little cut. Saw it down in there. Boom. I'll bring, bring it right up in this, this area, find that. Right down the side of the back. Make a good cut and then run it back down the side. Now what you'll hear is you'll hear the rib cage. You hear that little noise that music to your ears. Try not to stab yourself with dorsal fence. I bring it back up, find that rib. I turn it over thusly. Different different style, if you will. Hit the, hit the spine, and then I just bring it right down the middle. Now, what I like to do is I turn it this way. That way I have something to hold on to while I'm playing. Let the knife do the work. Boy, that is a nice play. Boom. That's a panty dropper. It's a panty dropper. <laughs> We're going to go with that. <laughs> All right. Backside, same way. All right. Back through here. Let the bones guide the knife. Again, I like to use leave the tail skin on there. I see a lot of people who don't. They just cut it off. It gives me something to hold on to a little bit better as it goes through. And try to keep as much fillet on the fish as possible because that's what we call dinner. There she is. Look at that. That is a nice fillet. Damn the rocks. Okay, well now we got our fillets all uh, off the fish carcass. What's the next step we do with the fillets and why? What we're going to do now is we've got to clean it. Uh, the way we clean it is we get a nice brine, nice, nice cold water, salt water, not fresh water, salt water and ice, not too much ice. We just want to get the fish firmed up and clean. So you just basically you know, just get it in there, chill them out as best you can, let them sit for a little bit. How long's a little bit? 
usually have a lot more fish. So, <laughs> uh, I'd say at least a, you know, 20 minutes. All right, so we're separating the fish and not losing any. And your 20 minutes is over, and now you got your fillets that's sitting out there, and you put them in a nice clean pan. Then what do we do? Shake it up? Well, you try to get as much moisture out of here as you can. Okay. Usually, yeah, shortly after this point, I'd be getting ready to vacuum seal them. Okay. And if to get that done, once we get them all nice, we'd find a tray, and we'd put them in the tray and cover them in uh, paper towels, mm -hmm. set them in the freezer for about a half hour, Yep. and then they, all this moisture would be taken off them, and they'd be super firm, they turn really white, and it saves all the flavor and seals the right side of them. Even after you, even after you freeze it? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it's vacuum sealed, then frozen. Oh, okay. And then, then it's perfect. It'll look just like this with pure white. So uh, that that is a secret trip or se secret tip of the trade to keep your fish as fresh as it can be for as long as you can keep it fresh. All right, this is Big Daddy and Dan the Rocks Charters. Tips from the cleaning table. You have a good one. Thank you.